All right, taking a look at the Travis file, we see that indeed the compiler complains about the sizes. Um, well, all I need to do now is fix that. So uh, uh, let's do it. Qt Creator. Like I use Qt Creator, like there are plenty of good IDEs, like uh, Visual Studio is the most used one I understood. Uh, but uh, well, I, I like this one. Uh, it's great. There it is, and we're going to run it. Like, of course, you can uh, remove all those warnings. I don't like that. So, yes. so I don't. Uh, I, I'm going to use f opt for the for a stupid way to do it. Like, there are. I, I'm not here to improve the code at all. I'm just going to just extra semicolon. Just want to get rid of all the warnings in a way that is fast for a video. So usually I, and which is recommended, is you would factor out that populations, that those sizes, like if they stay constant of course. And I predict that in some cases that I do this, this size will not, will, um, will not change. So it may be that this loop for example, or this loop about overall energies, whatever those are, that these vectors stay constant. And in the for loop, then it make it makes no sense then in a for loop to check for the size every time. Like the superior alternative would be to get the constant size out of it once, also converted to an int only there, and then Uh, and then just uh, uh, do that. Go over, iterate over that constant value that is only that's calculated only once. Like superior, of course, would be to use algorithms uh, for that co this code. This programmer doesn't know too much algorithms yet. Uh, that's fine. Um, it's about profiling. It's about them. All right. Let's see if there's more. There's more individual. This is the other file, yeah, this is Gillespie, whatever that means. It's probably the dupe Gillespie algorithm somehow, but not important. It's a biological simulation, that's that's all I know. It's about speciation, that's what I know. Alright, multiple definitions of offs, that's nice, let's find this. So if there are multiple definitions of offs, that means there are globals, yes, yes, global. really important. Let's see what. So let's, these are globals, these are globals, probably the same things, so well, this should not be globals, of course, but how am I going to fix this in a decent way? I'm going to add a header file in which I put all those globals, so you only, like the ones I can make one extern, perhaps that's also a good idea. I assume that for example the output files test test that's the same. Do I really need the last Let's see if I can just get get rid of it. Alright. Perhaps they're not intended to 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 go together. Perhaps only main.cpp is the one. If that's the case, I'm done. Then that would be great. Alright, so it does something. But there there it goes. It's running. It's running. Alright. Now it's a question how long it will... What I'm going to do now, I'm going to push to Travis. Alright, let's check my... Alright, so I need to get rid of some temporary things. For example, the pro.user file. And the temporary build file, the folder, they can be safely moved to git ignore. Git ignore. Don't, don't make a spelling error there. No, I don't make a spelling error there. I just need to add the git ignore. So now we don't have our build folder uh, tracked. I don't want that. So in code, we don't want to eat pro dot user file tracked because that's about my usage. You should not care. Um, ls git status git status. All right. So I modified Gillespie. I'm going to undo that because it's not. Um, it's not where I where I work on. 
So uh, the programmer, if he intends to do so, should fix it him or herself. Himself, I know. Alright, so this is everything I need to get working. Git at minus minus all. Git commit works locally. Alright, and let's do let's see if Travis Travis will now do the number crunching itself as well in parallel of my local computer. Let's see how my local computer is doing. So there's some words here, finish generation. And uh, well this takes long. This takes too long I think. So I'm going to cancel it. So I see here the word generation and I know that biologists usually Alright, so they uses the word T for generation. And let's see, T goes until G. What is G then? Perhaps it's a global, global error. So this global is the number of generations. So we could rename it to N generation, but let's not do that. So let's see if I put this to 100. Then let's see if it's reasonably fast. So it's now 40, I give it, well, no idea how long this will take. Actually, I'm almost going to push this to Travis, so I have one extra measuring point already. Git commit use 100 generations. Alright, still working still working. Alright, let's take a look while it's running at the variables we need to profile on. So let's do a quick sneak peek. So in the main function we see there are one, two, three, four things that the user can specify. And what are those four things? So we have G appears important. Of course that's linear, so that I'm not very interested in actually changing G. I predict that N is the population size. Let's see, take a look. Where can we find a hint? In Qt Grid we cannot use to find usages. Alright, well, that's a population size. Here we create a vector of individuals of size N. Alright, so N is the population size. Well, oops, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to and that population size and I'm going to use 100 this run has finished but, uh, it's, I find it too long let's make it like I want yeah there she goes so 100 works and I'm going to push this to Travis as well so I have another measuring point so I, this, these are just rough measurements Set population size to 100. Right, the population size will be very interesting. I think it, it will be the, probably the most important variable because the thing we're looking for is the big O complexity. So I'm going to make this nice little graph here. So the big O complexity, big O complexity, big uh, text, there she go. So the, let's make it bigger. So we're going to look go for the big O complexity. Big O complexity of uh, complexity. And um, what we're interested in, so let's say that the big O complexity, if you make a plot like this, then on this axis you put in the complexity. Make it a bit smaller. So the complexity is the, the input. So it can be like a like like more generations input complexity or just let's say complexity. And at the y-axis, what we want to put there, what we'll be putting there is runtime. That's just simply how long the program takes to complete. Run time. And in profiling. So let's say, so some people, they think, all right, let's say my program uh, is at a certain speed here, let's say here, they're going to take, they're going to go to great lengths and 
remove for loops, replace them by algorithms, um, and do the, all these micro optimizations. They say, all right, after a, a week of work, I get it 20% faster. Well, that's completely irrelevant, in my opinion, and a waste of time. And uh, we like it can be useful, but then by default, no, this is a bad idea. What's more interesting is to change the shape of the curve. So I predict, just because uh, from the runs I did, I predict that the, the shape of the curve will be something like this. So that means it's, I expect either an exponential or super exponential. Let's see if I can use a bigger thing. So I expect that, that if I keep the population size, size small, will be fastest of course but if I double the population size then the runtime will be four times as much so I expect a quadratic speed well I can go to great lengths to get the speed to decrease the speed by 20% but that's completely a waste of time what you want you want to change the shape to make it linear and that has of course actually it speeds down your simulation here but beyond this point it will more and more speed up the simulation so this is the only interesting thing uh, to do to get rid of an order of of, of a type of complexity instead of uh, making it 20 percent faster All right so uh, that's my uh, story about complexity now let's see what uh, Travis is doing all right Travis is not happy still there's something wrong and let's see if we can fix that finish simulations nice that works uh, oh yeah stupid me I should use the correct executable name there mousepad.travis too bad because we could have had already um, the profile cdpad.mousepad.travis we don't need that one it's called eed eed is there more? no kit add Use correct executable name. And now we'll have our first profile. But what I already see is if the population size is a hundred, that it takes less than one second. That's not a very good that's not enough information. So let's take a look if we can change that. So G is the or N is the population. I don't know what the D is, but I predict it has to do with the N. If not, I'll I'll, I'll be corrected uh, very soon. So let's see if it if I can change the N from the arguments. No, I cannot. Um, that means I'm going to do so manually. All right, it's a bit clumsy, but let's do it. Modify the code. Let's see. Git add. And I'm going to state git commit m. n equals 200. I'm going to use. Uh, I'm not going to use double equals, so people understand uh, what's going on. Like non-mathematicians, I'm going to double it to four. You see that I'm going to abuse Travis for this eight. 800 to make a, a series 1600 and I think that's enough for now uh, let's take a look because now Travis probably wants to skip some builds didn't I push all the time I didn't push all every time now let's see if our commits get there one by one nope I'm gonna do it again then 800 yeah. so I'm going to make a time series on Travis 1600 we have it running 800 now we're going to do 400 and push I'm going to 200 Travis will, will block some because it says, well, hey, you, you made such a simple change, uh, no need for me to run uh, those. Well, we're going to counter that because we are really interested 
in those values, we're going to also use 100 just to have a nice number. And now we have set up Travis to do our bidding and have our nice series. Alright, so we don't know how long this one will last, but that one probably will last short. We know that Oh, so here we have our first profile. Well, let's take a look. So we have the run. So here is where the, the, the time is at. So this is the profile. You see that the program ran actually already one second. Alright, so one second. Probably due to the output. So that's a bad idea. We get, need to get rid of the output. Uh, but let's see if we can prove that. So apparently 69% of the time it's in calc energy. Like we don't know how this function scales. So let's go back to our plot. It may be that calc energy here, make it in red. Calc energy, whatever it does. It may be that this thing goes something like this. But that the bigger fish is something else. Maybe it's a bigger fish. Let's call it big fish. Big fish. And maybe that the bigger fish uh, goes exponential, like I just drawn. I try to do it again. Maybe that the bigger fish uh, has this complexity. So calc energy may be linear, whereas the big fish is exponential. We need to find that thing. We we're not interested in, in measuring here. No, we want to see what affects our program when it has a bigger input. Right, so um, we so this goes fast. Let's take a look at 1600. So I always aim for one minute. And this is one minute. All right. So the big fish definitely is calc energy. We see that choose resource also increases in size and we see that calc energy is called very often so it's perhaps a very small function whereas choose resource appears to, appears to scale up let's take a look at the 100 so here we have calc resource 40 percent let's take a look at 800 probably that one's finished as well all right doesn't display the full log in raw, if that still works. Yeah, there it is. No. All right, that won't work. Let's take another one. Like I will rerun it to get a decent log. We'll take a look at the 400 one. And here we see ch calc energy choose. Re All right, so these two are definitely it. Both are big fish. They scale more or less equally. Of course, there's some noise on the on the on the measurements, but these two are both the big fish. And let's take a look. So this is four seconds. Four seconds for four hundred. So these both go exponential, right? So that's a that's a nice observation. So you see for n is four hundred. We're going to we're going to try try to go all mathematically and four hundred 800, 1600. So as complexity, I now use population size because I predict it's the main estimator. And I may be wrong, actually. Um, so if I would know the code better and if I would really care to, to take a very close and deep look. But for now, I think we can say that we have already measured that for n equals 400. It takes four seconds. Four seconds. That's, that's a four. And we already had fifty-nine seconds. Fifty-nine seconds and eight hundred. No idea what it does, but uh, this is enough for now. Actually, I'm just going to put the 50, 59 at the top. So we have a nice. Yes, this is in seconds. So that's seconds. And complexity, we now measure it in population size. But we, this is just an assumption again. 
and we see that for 400 we have 4 which is around here for 1600 we have around here and for 800 let's see what we have if it has already finished has already finished 800 takes 15 seconds 15 seconds it will be here alright so this is not enough information yet to see if it's a curve or a line but that can also be due to my plotting capabilities because you could also, could also agree that it's there and uh, let's, let's take a look at the 200 then like if the two yeah but that's too much so this is more or less the shape we have now all right great so i i predict it will be exponential but i would need more measurements for that to be absolutely sure so i could do that but that's not very in yeah, let's. I should do that. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to add more, one more measurement, 3200, 3200. Commit, commit. And it's 3200. Uh, just to see if it is exponential. If it's not, if it's linear, it will. Um, if it's linear it will take two minutes it, if it's more than linear if, if it's exponential it will take uh, way like like yeah more than two minutes all right but we already found our candidates our possible candidates and let's take a look at those so you see i'll take the biggest one and i'm going to take a look at calc energy Let's see what it does. All right, so this is a simple call. This is a Gaussian function, something like that, and it's very often called. Well, let's take. Can we make it, for example, const exp? Let's see if that compiles. The value of s is not a const. Ah, it's a global. Value of s not a constant expression. Well, where are you from then, Mr. S? Find usages. There it is. S is indeed global. Uh, all right, but I want. I prefer to have it in, so I'm going to ruthlessly modify the code to put it in. Const double s. So calc energy now needs an extra. Shadows a global global declaration. All right, so it's also some. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, local S. I'm not going to call it local. Nah. I'm going to replace this by local S just to make it happy because it's shadowed indeed S. And here it needs calc energy with that S. It needs calc energy with that S. It needs calc energy with that S. And there as well. There as well. There as well. there. Right, so I've added that S, and let's see if I can make it const expert. Um, calc energy. So taking a look at that function, it also appears const expert. Const expert. Const expert. Let's see if it would work. So using const expert means that the calculation is done during compile time. If it can be done during compile time, it also knows, it also signifies the compiler that it's a very simple function, so it may be better at optimizing it. And I'm going to edit this already. And I'm going to also put the number of generations, the population size, in it commit const expert in calc energy and is 
3200. And I'm going to go down again a bit to make a bit of a series. And I'm going down to 800. Well, 400 is best. And I can also imagine, I'm not sure, is uh, perhaps 